Welcome to the famous Shames Experience. My name is Shames O'Grady and I am in Minnesota, my home state. And also, I'm along the North Shore, which is an even more scenic, pretty area. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite places to go back when I lived in Minnesota. I was camping along the North Shore, winter, fall, spring, didn't matter what time of year. And along the North Shore, there are waterfalls. So, in this video, I'll just be visiting these uh, waterfalls, be taking some pictures. I like to do long exposure pictures. It's uh, something I enjoy doing and really haven't done a lot because of time or there's no waterfalls usually where I'm at, stuff like that. So, uh, come on and join me. <laughs> and so, let's go take some pictures of some waterfalls. So, this first place we're at is Gooseberry Falls. It's the first major state park along the North Shore. And uh, there's a couple waterfalls here and we'll get to them. Man, every time I go back to Minnesota, it's always humid. It's like 73 degrees, but humid, sweaty. Once you start sweating, you don't stop. And look, there's the uh, waterfalls down there. So I just need to just get down there, find a good spot, start taking some long exposure pictures. Thank you. 
another day at the Gooseberry Falls. Four different spots of waterfalls, and I got to all four of them. And uh, and then you know sometimes I like to walk along the shoreline, see if there's any cool water over rock moments that I can capture some photos of. Um, sometimes um, sometimes it looks pretty neat. So anyways, we're uh, we're all done with that location. You know I think you could literally spend all day taking pictures. Um, you know getting. Um, pictures at different parts of the day. Uh, there were some moments where I would just wait for uh, a cloud to come over the sun so that I could capture the um, capture the um, waterfalls with a little cloud cover with a little cloud cover. Um, sometimes I, I think there's a little too much light and I don't have enough ND filters or I don't have an ND filter strong enough for the desired effect that I'm looking for personally. So it's all you know, what it it's all about what you're looking for and what you want with these pictures here and uh, just scoping out different spots along the shoreline here when I say the the North Shore we are driving along the North Shore in Minnesota so the next uh, spot is uh, Tedaguch yeah I think I'm saying that right the uh, Tedaguch um, campgrounds or state park and uh, there's a big rest stop there and I think um, that's where I'm gonna spend my evening you know taking pictures of the sunset I know the sun sets in the west and the coast or the uh, not coast the shoreline is facing the east so it's mostly gonna be you know my setup for you know the, the sunrise and then if it's a clear night maybe some uh, nighttime photos we'll see and, uh, but there are some, um, you know, waterfalls here still. So, uh, you know, if we get there early enough, uh, maybe take some pictures of waterfalls, you know, you know. So, we'll see what I do. So I forgot about this spot between um, uh, Goose, Gooseberry Falls and uh, Tedaguch. This is a place called Beaver Bay. <clears throat> it's a uh, bridge, crosses a little river, and and um, there's lots of moving water and lots of little waterfalls there. So obviously, I have to stop and take some pictures. So we're at Beaver Bay. Hmm. The city of Beaver Bay is the oldest continuous occupied settlement on the North Shore established in 1856. Earlier settlers were mainly German and Swiss. Wow, this place has been, well, been here for a long time. So I'm looking at this uh, Beaver Bay Falls here, as you can see. Um, it goes well beyond what we can see there. Actually, the river up there is coming in from the left. And there's a whole bunch of other waterfalls up there. So I don't know if I'm gonna capture the entirety of Beaver Bay Falls. This place deserves a whole day within itself. So I might have to come back perhaps after tomorrow and get the upper half. Um, doesn't look, look like there's any trails that go there, but um, we'll see. But as of right now, I do have some time to get some stuff like right here, right underneath the bridge. And it looks like rain. It looks like a little rain might be coming in too.
<sighs> so I am in Tenekuch State Park. Um, I didn't. I, I did not take any pictures this morning. Um, you know, I went out there to watch the sunrise with all my gear. But you know, sometimes you just have a moment where you just don't take the camera out and just take it in. You know, I think it's important to have those moments every once in a while to really just take in nature um, and to uh, not spend my entire life behind a camera recording or taking pictures of every, everything. Sometimes you just gotta just let it be. Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna be uh, probably spending the whole day here. I'm probably gonna be spending the majority of my day here at Tedaguch. There's lots of trails and at the, well, lot, there are trails like at every state park and um, there's some moving water. So I gotta take pictures of that, but uh, there's a couple spots up by the bridges up there where um, the shadow of the bridge is in the way so I'm gonna have to wait until like uh, dusk to uh, take pictures of those moving water spots but um, so here I am and uh, I haven't really showered in a few days and um, I was like shoot I wish I could have a shower <laughs> then I'm like oh there's a stream or river right here might as well take a dip so I'm gonna sit here a little bit dry off didn't bring a towel, but yeah, I think uh, my first spot's gonna be right here. I really try to look for like dry rocks with moving water around it and see what that looks like. And uh, you know, sometimes I take lots of pictures in different spots and sometimes I could spend the entire day taking pictures and only like one, or only show one photo of it. So, but you know, part of photography, a long exposure photography is just, you know, getting out there in nature, taking some pictures. look bad but <clears throat> these rocks are pretty slippery they're all smooth with like algae on it and without any uh, aqua shoes or shoes to wear underneath uh, stepping on these rocks can be a little tricky and why I'm crossing these rocks is because that bridge is apparently well as you can see slightly damaged and to the average hiker that's out here, you know, that might not be crossable, but um, the Minnesota State Parks have to, they have to make rules that tend to everybody of all levels of hiking, so, um, so I'm pretty sure a down bridge isn't really a big uh, obstacle for somebody who's a serious backpacker or hiker, as you can see. There we go.
wraps up my time along, along the North Shore here. Um, I do need to make it back to the cities for a wedding to attend. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, it's getting hot out here. Get a little sweaty, a little out of breath. But anyways, see you later. Thanks for watching that video of me out there exploring nature and taking good pictures. If you enjoyed that video, please like and, and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to see more of my work, I will leave links below. Thanks for watching that video of me exploring nature and taking good pictures. And if you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe. And if you enjoy my pictures, I will leave a link down below that will send you to my website that has all the pictures I've ever taken. And with a, you know, a donation or monthly subscription, you have free access to all the pictures I took, or all the pictures I've taken in the past, and pictures to be taken in the future. And you can download them for free. So, and also, I will leave a link to my shop. And uh, if you're interested in buying a canvas photo of mine, here they are. So here they are. Voila.